Welcome back, principals and management students. This is Mr. Argetta. We are in week number two. Uh, so welcome to week two. I appreciate all the effort, all the work in regards to uh, what you did last week. Uh, I want to kind of give you an update. This is our weekly, the weekly video I put out just to give you an understanding of what happened last week, sort of get a feel of what, uh, what occurred. What happened this what's happening this week and of course what to expect for next week so week one went very well guys i appreciate it i went through there for the most part it looks like uh most of you guys understood the sort of the pattern the system that's taken place uh you did your work just to reiterate Every week we do two chapters and we do a discussion post, all right? Um, I have, uh, today is Monday, it is uh, 3.11, uh, so March 11th, it's about 10 o'clock in the morning. I just did my morning routine. Let me show you what I did for my coffee today. So uh, this is the Nespresso pod, which is the one you see, where is it? Oh, I guess I gotta move the camera a little to get a good picture of it. All right, let's see if I can get it there. There it is. That guy. Uh, and the, the things look like this. They look like these type of pods. Well, um, they have their own brand of coffee. And uh, I usually buy their brand of coffee, the Nespresso brand. They had a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but uh, every now and then, I kind of like going just to Kroger and picking up their uh, little uh, Starbucks Pike Place. Uh, there you go. Starbucks bright place uh, for the Nespresso uh, machine. It's pretty good. That's what I'm drinking today. I'm drinking it in a cup that my wife gave me for Christmas, which is a ember cup, as you can tell. You see the little light? So what that does is it keeps it at a certain degrees uh, warm for a certain period of time. Uh, if I could, I'll show you here. Let's see if I can pull it up. It's on my phone and I can program it. Uh, to whatever heat or whatever temperature I wanted to be in. So I really, she bought me the actual cup at one point, and now this is like the travel mug uh, version of it. And I enjoy it because I keep my coffee at a certain temperature all uh, the whole time that I'm drinking it. So to the very last cup or last drop. All right, so here it is. Let me see if I can show you guys real quick. Okay. All right. So right now it's at 135 degrees, and of course in the bottom you could see how I could adjust the temperature. Ooh, camera shot. I could adjust the temperature to whatever I want. I typically do it a little warmer, a little hotter. I like the I like the hotness of the coffee in the morning. Uh, but today, as you can hear, I still have this whole thing with the allergies that I'm dealing with. But anyhow, enough about that. Let's talk about what happened last week. What's going on this week? So. Um, I take about a week to read your discussions. There's 182 posts that occurred. So it takes me a little bit. So don't get freaked out if you don't see a grade for your discussion right away. It's not automatically graded. I have to read the context. So as I've mentioned from video one, uh, I take a lot of importance in discussion because that's the only way I really know if you're understanding the material or not. So the discussions of the uh, grade is about a week delayed because I have to go in there and actually physically read each discussion to make sure that you're writing it right. Now, I understand that there is a lot of technology out there that can assist you. Now, if it's generated only by an AI or some type of other software, it will be flagged and you will get a zero for it. But if it's your wording and you're just cleaning it up, totally okay with that i think it's great that you can utilize the tools that are available to you to better explain what you're doing and get a grade especially when you're talking about like your grammar and small corrections like that but do not please do not solely use any type of software to create your own con or create content for you that will be considered plagiarism it's wrong you can get reported you can technically get kicked out of the school for that so Please only submit what's your work, okay? Um, I think it's fair to say that we're all adults and we should trust one another. And, and I trust that you guys are here to actually learn something. So I'm going based on that assumption. All right. Other than that, as you guys know already, the discussion is composed of you creating your own work, your own original post, 
and then replying to my weekly video, which is the video you're watching now, and replying to two other classmates on their post. So you're going to have four interactions in these discussions minimum. All right. Again, I don't do a word minimum, but what I do do is I expect that your original post has context. You understand the topic that we're talking about. I can quickly understand that you don't get what we're saying or didn't read what you're supposed to read and you're just putting some under. A one sentence reply for your original post is not going to fly. I will not give you a grade for that. I will not accept that. It has to have a solid paragraph, okay? Um, that said, this week, our discussion is about ethics, which is interesting enough. So ethical dilemma and which ethical perspective do you use to make a decision. So in management and, 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 in, and in part of life, right? We have these certain situations that occur where we're not, it's not what's wrong or right, it's what's your ethical perspective of that. Uh, for example, and I, I always bring this up because I think it's important for you to kind of use examples in your mind to understand ethics versus illegal or, Ill, or legal. Illegal is illegal. You can't change that. There's no way you can adjust that. But ethics falls into this gray area where it could be okay for some people to do it, no, not okay for others. For example, I always bring up the conversation about in regards, in regards to ethics. Is it ever okay to lie? What uh, in your mind and your decision patterns, what allows you to say, well, in this situation, it's okay to lie. In this situation, it's not okay to lie. So people who um, have this sort of uh, virtual ethics or maybe even deontological ethics perspectives, they'll say no. Deontological coming from the, the root word, the Latin word, dio, and if uh, for some of the Spanish speakers, you'll recognize that from Dios, which means God, um, they have this perspective <coughs> that there's a higher power that dictates, and forgive me for coughing, there's a higher power that dictates what's right and what's wrong, and they would say lying is wrong, it's never okay to lie, um, and, I, and I would challenge that later on in next week's conversation, but I want to know your perspective first, I don't want to I don't want to influence that decision, but is it ever a time where it's okay to lie? And I want you to think about that and why you make that decision. The other one that I bring up is the concept of like, if you are a conductor on a train and you're on a track and uh, you're driving this train and you lose all power to stop the train. Now, see, here's the key. You have to make a decision. There's no way to avoid this decision. This is why this scenario works. Right, you're in this train, you're driving it, there's no way to stop it, and you could only make one decision, turn right or turn left, because the tracks are gonna split. If you turn right, you're gonna kill, if you turn right, you're going to kill 10 adults. If you turn left, you're gonna kill a child, someone under 18. That's all the information I'm going to provide for you, and that's the only information you have at that moment. So you're going to make a decision based on that information. Now, ethics will play a role in that decision. So I want you to think about that and tell me what decision you will make. Would you turn right or would you turn left? Depending on what you make, you kind of start seeing the ethical perspective. So uh, there is a video. Sometimes the video works for some people. Sometimes it doesn't. You don't need the video. What you do need to do is read pages 74 to 76 and 82 and 84. Or you can Google the ethical perspectives and just kind of read up on it. I think it's important for all of us to know which ethical perspective we lean on. Now, I also want to say that there is no possible way that someone can only practice one ethical perspective because it just depends on the scenario and the people involved. So I understand that you could be bouncing around in different ones. I just want you to pick the one that you feel you most relate to, okay? Uh, next week, same structure, two chapters of discussion, uh, and then we're going to be doing another conversation next week called the SWOT analysis. I won't get too deep detail into it because it's for next week, but that's going to focus on your strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats within a business. I'll explain what that means next week. Other than that, guys, it is cold today. It was cold yesterday, but Saturday was gorgeous. 70 degrees, beautiful outside. Um, that's it. I had to go work on our, I switched cars with my son because he, he went to Miami for 
vacation for his spring break. I kept this car and I was working on his car. So spend most of the week just working on his car, just getting little things done, you know, maintenance stuff and whatever. But other than that, it's, uh, it's been a pretty nice week. I uh, went to dinner with the wife on Friday. We went to a restaurant in Cartersville called Table 20. Um, we like it. It's nice, pretty decent place. Um, I had a I had a simple burger. She had I think a salmon or something like that. But uh, as I mentioned, we love exploring food. So any type of food that you know of, hey, share it with us. Um, I think that's about it, guys. I hope you're having a great time. I hope you're enjoying the process of the course. And as always, go grab yourself a cup of coffee. Enjoy that. Or a lot of you guys told me you like energy drinks or whatever. But stay hydrated. Enjoy the day. We'll see you next week. Take care.